I was never particularly talented, never particularly smart, but I always had a killer work ethic. When I lost my vision at 14, people would have these long conversations with me that if I didn't pick kind of a lower level future for myself, that that was me being in denial. I couldn't really make a strong case for myself other than that doesn't sound right to me. In about six weeks, I'm gonna stand among hundreds of elite disabled athletes from all over the world at the 2016 Paralympics. I had a brain tumor in 1986 that resulted in the initial vision loss. And then in 1994, we had some complications from the surgery. I lost the remaining vision in my left eye. So now I have just a very small pinhole of light out of my left eye, but it puts me in the totally blind category. One minute I was so capable, and the next minute I was reading at a grade one level, not because my aptitude changed, but because I didn't know how to read Braille. I was more upset about the loss of my identity than I was about the loss of the vision. Smell like a dog. <laughs> Jeez. It was a lot of overcoming fear that the people who were being discouraging were right and that I would be wrong. But I was very willing to be wrong. No, Sam. Well, you know at least three things about Greece. Its economy is collapsing. You're from there. I've now run 15 marathons. I signed up for doing the Ironman. At the time, I had no idea how a blind person would swim, run, ride a bike. My second Ironman actually earned the world record for fastest blind and low vision Ironman distance athletes. And out of the blue, I got a call from the United States Olympic Committee. They thought I had aptitude to go to the 2016 Paralympics. And at the time, it felt like I had just stepped into a Disney movie. There was never a moment where I was sure it was going to work out, or never a moment where I was totally confident. Two, one, go! I think any time that I really went out on a limb to try to achieve at a different level was me fighting to have that identity back. No matter what happens, I feel like I have certainly proven my work ethic. Even to be there is a dream come true, and there might be something even bigger and better than Paralympics. I don't have that in my vision just yet, but it's not unthinkable.